Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's One Magic. And I am here with a video. I'm actually getting ready for bed. I am so tired. Oh my God. And I'm getting ready kind of late. I was laying down. And I was watching some YouTube videos. And those YouTube videos caused me to drowse off. And I literally almost went to sleep on y'all. But I knew I had to film a video, a natural hair video, because I want you guys to see what's going on with my hair, what's happening right now. So remember, I recently did the Adore Me semi-permanent um, color. It's like an intense red. And I did that in my hair um, maybe about a month ago. And I've been doing wearing that, but this is post blowout. I uh, and I know I look sleepy. I'm sorry. Um, post blowout, and I um, washed my hair the other day, and I did a um, twist out yesterday, today, last night for today. I did a twist out. Did I get all the condition out my hair. I guess. And I use the Pantene. Um, I use show you this. this Pantene Pro V Stronghold Gel, and this stuff right here, um, you have to use this wet. Mm. It says use on damp hair. Yeah, so I did like a wash and go with it the other day, and I just fingered it through, and that was fine. But when I did the twist out on dry hair last night, when I woke up this morning, I had so many flakes in my hair. When I untwisted my twist, I had lots of flakes. So Make sure don't you do that. This, use this on wet hair. So I'm not using this today. I'm going for something a little bit light because this is this is stronghold and it's going to hold your hair. It's going to have a crunch to it. So I don't want that today. I just want regular. Um, hold. I so got my curl kit for April, and um. It's this one right here. Hopefully you guys are subscribed to Coral Kit. I just got on the Curl Kit bandwagon. I'm in month two or three, I think. So yeah. Um, it came with a lot of full size products. So I'm gonna use two of them to set my hair today. I'm gonna be using the Ampro Pro Style Vitamin E Oil. So I'm gonna use this oil for my hair. And I'm going to be using this. Maximum Strengthening Moisture Lotion. It's by Ashley Fry. And I need to take it out of the pack. And this is what full size products in here, guys. It was like four or five full size products in this box. So it's amazing. So um, if you'd like to see how I do my twist outs, um, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is freshly washed hair, co-washed, let's get it right, co-washed hair, I'm sorry. And I use this to co-wash my hair really quick at the sink, it is a Tresemme Split Remedy, um, and I love these Tresemme bottles because it has a pump and that makes it easy for me. So I co-washed with Both. this, I'm going to so add this oil in here, and yeah. I forgot to tell you, I just opened this so it has that little safety thing. Let's get that off there. Yeah. And let's get some oil. I'm going to use a fairly a lot because I'm going to put this. Oh, it's very thick. Oh, it smells good. It smells like perfume. Let me get this distributed throughout my hair. And I want my hair to be very moisturized. Scalp, root, tip, ends, everything. So I'm going to add a little bit more. You know, I'm not using a gel when I set my hair, but I don't want, you know, my hair to feel dry tomorrow when I take my twist out. And this stuff smells good. So I'm going to get this all distributed in, in here. And my hair has really grown a lot, guys. I'm just in, in love with my natural hair. So I think I've gotten that pretty 
well distributed in my hair and it's turning white I'm really getting in really getting, getting in, in, in there. there really so next I'm gonna go in with this African Pride moisturizing lotion so start with a little bit I pray that this does not react so I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and I'm just going to rub it and just make sure that it doesn't turn my hair white and flaky from the, the vitamin E. Because sometimes these products, they don't go together. And it may become flaky. So let me take a peek. And as you can see, it is flaky. So this does not work with this. These two do not go together. So, um, I'm gonna rinse my hand off. And I'm gonna have to start with Plan Dos. So, I'm just add a little bit more of that vitamin E oil. Cause it looks like I'm gonna have to use a gel. Um, if this does not work with that moisturizing lotion, it very well may not work with any other products and it's like 10 o'clock at night and I don't want to play find the product. So I'm going to go back to this trusty Pantene Pro V and I'm going to use this um, today because I put a little bit more oil on my hair to set it and I'm going to use uh, this side now to see if this would react with this uh, oil and cause flakes. I'm not really seeing I didn't use a lot but I'm not really seeing too much of flakes on my hair so I'm just gonna uh, add a generous amount and as you can see it really weighs down your curls and really defines them and um, you see that whiteness is just because I added a lot of gel but it does so there, I don't clean. see any flakes. So I think I'm going to go for this. And as you can see, look at the hang time. Compared, the hang time compared to no weight. So this, this adds a whole lot of weight to this. So what I'm going to do is, section, instead of like, I'm going to try something a little different with my natural hair. So what I'm going to do... I don't have any kind of clips or nothing. I'm just gonna kind of separate two sides. Let's see if I had a clip. I'm unprepared. And I'm gonna take like chunks of my hair because I think I'm gonna pull it like black back tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take chunks of it and just like run a whole bunch of gel. I'm gonna just do like a quick little wash and go, like a shingling. So this is the big chunky section in the back. I found a little body pin. And I'm just gonna finger detangle and I could feel the oil. It's so moisturizing that vitamin. I never, I don't think I've ever used just straight vitamin E oil, but it is super duper moisturizing. So I'm just gonna detangle that, which I've done. And unfortunately, I have to use a lot of gel. So if you guys don't like gel, then this is just don't use as much as I did. But it's a very fairly large section. So I'm just going to turn a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just trying to clump these, get these curls clump. Look at that foolishness. That tears up the drop. So I'm detangling as I do it. And then I'm going like piece by piece to smooth every curl. Just want to make sure that every strand is covered. And then this is what you get. Okay, so that is super cute. So then you can take, you can move forward and take that whole large section and just like smooth it out and split it in half and then just twist it. 
And you don't have to do, you've already defined the curl, so you don't really have to do like a super, super duper um, defined curl because you've already, already defined the curl. Just do that. Okay. So that is that first twist. I'm going to go through and finish the rest of my hair. And I will come back when I'm almost done. Okay, guys. So I am done. I have twisted up my whole head. And now I'm going to add some bobby pins to try to so stretch that stay out and the length that it's in. Because, you know, by in the morning, this is going to be up here. And it's going to be real shrunken. So I got these bobby pins from the Dollar Tree. You get 72 of them for one dollar. So I'm just gonna use these to pull my hair. And in so how you do that is you just take like this piece of hair. I'm gonna stretch it out, and I'm gonna lift it up as high as I can in the back of my head like this, and I'm just gonna pin it down. Okay, and I'm just gonna do that all around. To stretch my hair out so I'll do that again here and be careful uh, when you're pulling it out that you don't hurt yourself because that hurts a little bit when I'm if I stretch it too far so I'm just going to do the rest of it really quickly so I got the whole back pinned up now I'm in the front these ones have pins on the ends because, excuse me, I have um, Bantu knotted a little bit on the ends and I bobby pinned them because these, these are kind of um, loose from heat damage or from being my leave out area. So I'm just going to pull, still pull that and pin it down over here as well. Okay, so I got all of them nicely pinned down. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want a review on any of those products, uh, further in-depth review, let me know. But um, just, you know, off the rip, I'm loving this. And this oil was great. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to use this product, but I will attempt to use it later in a different, uh, at another time. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. It's morning and I am back. I am ready for today. Uh, I did my makeup already. Well, slightly did my makeup. I got to put on some mascara and finish up my lips. But I want to show you guys my highlight today. Um, I feel like my face looks a little brighter. I tried a new These product are today. Two. It's the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer and then this LA Girl Pro in Toast that I've always used. Put this on first and it really brightened up under my eyes and then i put this on top of it to tone it down some and i just feel like i had like a really 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 good highlight just like a really good highlight and i've just been kind of blending it out a little bit because i felt you know i've been a lot of bags lately under my eyes and then i um use my mac uh mineral skin finish in dark deep for over my face i didn't do too much today because yeah, I don't really have time for that. So, hair. This one came out through the night. So, this one might be a little bit short. I don't know. So, I'm just going to take all of my bobby pins out. And my hair will drop. Now, my hair is not dry. And I think it's because these bobby pins, when I pinned them all together, I didn't consider the fact that it would chunk the hair together. So I'm thinking that I didn't get enough air circulation in because I, the way I pinned it up. And then I shouldn't pin it all in a bunch, but more so I should have pinned some of them differently. But, you know, this is the first time and we live and we learn. So take that note, that tip to not pin them in a bunch together but use more so the size of your head and just you know try not to pin where other areas have already been pinned if that makes sense so that your hair 
would have in this. See, like, this is like the back of my hair. Like, this right here, look. It is wet. It's not even dry. So, my definition may not be where I want it to be because of this. But, we will see how this works out. So, um, this one came loose already. But this is what this one looks like. And all I do is just pull it apart. If it was super dry, it would be a better demonstration, but this is all wet, like really, really wet. So this side probably, though well, this is wet too. So I do like that, and then I just pull it apart. And I'm pretty sure you can tell that my hair is wet. It's very, very wet, and I do not like that because it's not gonna be a good thing. So, just separating. It is stretched though, even though it's still wet. I'm pretty sure by the end of the day, it's going to shrink up because it's still wet. Like even this is wet. My hair dries most of the time, so this is very alarming how wet my hair actually is right now. But it is stretched though wet and stretched and I think that as it dries throughout the day it will probably shrink up like I said but right now it's just you know wet and I just run my hand through if you can see this I just run my hand and let it just fall apart however it wants to fall apart. I found that to be the easiest way to do this. Just rub your hand through that section and just let it come apart however it may want to come apart. And this is what I got. Now this for me is stretched out. So I'm just gonna, a little volume. And I'm not digging through the hair, I'm just digging through the roots, kind of. Digging through the roots. So I did get a little bit more hang time, I must say. And of course, this is day one here, so it will get bigger. So this is what I have right now. Do a little 360 for you guys. So follow me on Instagram so you guys can see pictures of day two, three, four hair. My hair is definitely stretched out in this manner and I love it. So I'm gonna do that, try to perfect that bobby pin situation so that it would look a whole lot better the next go around. So thank you guys for watching this video on my twist out or how I'm doing my twist out. Um, and if you have any comments or suggestions or anything down below, please let me know. I'm not going to put any edge control or anything on. I'm just going to go like this. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.